Hello there, this is Stephen, the Community Manager at Geotech, and joining me today from the Clan Section 18 is Brandon. Hello, Brandon. Hi, Stephen. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Brandon, today you're showing us some gameplay from Search and Rescue. Um, do you want to talk us through what we're looking at here and what we're going to learn? Okay, so basically Search and Rescue, it's a combination of um, Search and Destroy, which everyone loves, and recently added Kill Confirmed. Um, so basically you kill people um, like Search and Destroy, you've only got one life, and um, the twist is um, you drop a dog tag, and you could, the enemies have to run and collect your dog tag after you've been killed. And to, 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 to confirm the kill, hence Kill Confirmed. Yes, and... Um, by doing that, you're not allowed to respawn in the same round. So, technically, it's a gamble because if your dog tag is dropped and your teammate picks it up, then you can respawn back in. Ah, uh, so uh, it's a uh, you're playing between in effect you're pr you're having to make decisions between getting those dog tags and in effect playing it like kill confirmed and actually either delivering the bomb or stopping the bomb um do i go back to get my mate or or do i leave my mate and and go and uh try and stop that bomb or plant it exactly exactly and the map we're looking at here um we are playing on sovereign um, which is, you know, it's a nice map. It's got some really nice flank routes. Um, it it takes away, um, it's more of an original Call of Duty map because um, there's definitely a left-hand side, a right-hand side, and a middle side. So there's definitely channels. But there's also above and, be, and below flank routes, which can be quite helpful. I love playing on this map. I often play squads mode on this map. And... Um... Yeah, the, 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 your, your description is absolutely right. Plus, there's lots of nice little rooms. So if we take this bit here where we're, we're watching, um, it's one big hallway, really, but actually you've got nice little rooms you can go in and take yeah, cover in. Yeah, cover. Yeah, exactly. So talk us through some of the basic bullet points that you want people to take away when playing this mode. Um, for any search and destroy or search and rescue in general, um, I'd say be very patient because you've only got one life, potentially more. It depends if you're playing in a team. Um, if you are coordinated and you want to pick up tags um, to save yourself. But generally, just be more patient and do not rush because people are going to be also be playing really conservative and they're going to be waiting for you. Um, so I, wouldn't, I would not rush, just typically. I'd just sit, sit back and then kind of all push up together as a team. Because if you're playing, this is a very important tip just generally, if you play in a team with people, then you're more likely to do well and you're, not, you're less likely to get mad because you're all talking to each other and communicating. So you're, you're going to know where the enemies are. You're going to be saying, okay, we've definitely got one teammate down. One, There's a guy over here, there's a guy over there. You go that way, I'll go this way. And we can coordinate an attack. Absolutely, but the the other thing is, uh, if you do move as a pack, um, it it means that if people do go down, um, someone's already standing next to you to immediately pick up your tag without them having to go out of their way. Exactly, it's, it's almost like the enemy team is already going to be outnumbered because, as you just saw there, someone um, ally rescued popped up on the screen. That means mm. the guys already spawn back in and can attack again. Um, and, and obviously, once you um, once you once you got people spawning in, would you recommend that the team almost holds a position and let them regroup so that way you go back to being a pack, or it's their job just to catch up and find out where everyone is? Um, especially if you've got the bomb, um, try to stick with either one or two people because that way they can guard you, and you can all push up to one bomb site together rather than um, being the lone wolf and just rushing hoping for the best. Um, if you stick together. And that way, also, if you go down or your teammates go down that are guarding you, you can easily pick up the tags and deny the kills, um, preventing, like, being outnumbered in the future. Yeah. I, I, of course, yes, and, and and that's the whole point of this mode. Is in theory, if you if you collect their tags, each round becomes um, not each round, but but it the, 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 it becomes easier uh, as, as they disappear um, to to carry out the objective. Absolutely. And from a def and from a defensive point of view. Um, 
we, we talked about this actually before we uh, uh, started doing this commentary. You would recommend that holding someone back um, on one of their locations, because obviously there were two locations, so either split the team or just have one scout covering one of the alternative locations, so that way uh, if, if the team switches you've got someone um, calling, you know, call, calling warning to the rest of the team. Absolutely, and you can use a system called, uh, we've called it the buddy system. So um, you split up into three teams of two. Um, one of you takes one objective, one of you takes another objective, and one of you, um, one of the teams kind of patrols the area um, towards the back of the map to avoid getting flanked, because flanking is a big thing in search and rescue. Excellent. So that's the footage finished, but Brandon, thank you for your tips, thank you for your comments, and... Uh, we look forward to joining you on some more videos looking at Call of Duty Ghosts. Thank you very much, Stephen. Thank you.